What is up, ladies and gents? This is George Bean, and to be honest, I wanted to do this video, a vlog video, as a big thank you to you all for subscribing to me and commenting to me, even though I had never asked for any subscriptions, I had only asked for such a thing only once on one video, but I felt a bit it was a bit selfish for asking for something like that, so I'd never ask for anybody to subscribe to me. I just want to say this here. I want to thank you all for giving me a chance to continue doing these videos for you all, and telling me that you like the reviews I do. To admit, when I first started doing these videos, and I was afraid that I was going to be ridiculed for them. And be told that I suck at them, that my videos suck, etc. But so far, I haven't been told such a comment like that. So I have to be thankful for the positivity you've shown me, and for encouraging me to keep on. Since I have started making videos on my channel since November 2014, I have so far earned 24 subscribers subscribers as of the making of this video. It's not really much to gain in three years, but I had never thought I would gain subscribers on my channel, so 24 is actually a pretty good number to say the least. Long ago, I had asked for subs- I mean, the- despite the- I am feel a thankful for you guys for subscribing to me, given the amateurness I display in my videos, such as my monotone voice. And the reason I have ended up taking a long time in between making videos, to give you a reason, is mostly, I don't really have an excuse for that, but it's mostly to help in family matters. I have to take care of two elderly parents who are in their 60s and in ill health. My pops is in the nursing facility for COPD, and my mom's arthritis is growing worse in the legs, meaning she could barely walk without a cane. And with this kind of living, it sometimes leaves me with depression, which sometimes ends up creeping into me every now and then. Sometimes I feel wanting to do videos and enjoy them. Other times I feel crappy and I don't don't want to move around and make videos. I mean, hell, when a couple of times when I when when depressed, I felt like I just want to die a little just to end the pain. So yeah, anybody here who has experienced depression may possibly understand what I'm talking about. But hey, I've just started drinking a little booze, specifically Crown Royal Regal Apple. And when drunk, I felt a little better inside. So maybe if I continue drinking a little here and there, it may possibly like help lighten my mood a little and make videos more. And one other thing I want to say is that even though my videos are mostly me reviewing movies, uh, these reviews don't particularly hold any weight in the entire world. Just because I have an opinion on a movie doesn't mean you have to abide by my opinion. I mostly make these re reviews specifically to, like, entertain y'all, to possibly set, shed some new light to, on certain movies, maybe introduce you to movies you may not possibly have heard of or seen, or also even offer a second opinion on movies that are liked or disliked. This is why in the future I will be reviewing movies that I myself consider to be underrated, such as Steven Spielberg's Hook or Iron Man 3. Or even George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. And don't worry, I will be reviewing these three movies in Day of the Dead. You could say I'm more of a neutral guy who will try to find something good within a bad movie. Like, say, Batman v Superman, for example. The movie may be a jumbled mess with a not-so-light jumbled movie with a not-so-light part of tone. But if there, there is one thing I cannot deny is that Ben Affleck was awesome as Batman, to say the least. I love the warehouse scene where he plows through all of Lex Luthor's goons in that warehouse to rescue Superman's mother, Martha. Why don't you say her name? But seriously, for me, Batfleck was the very best thing in Batman v Superman. 
But if you hate the movie, that's fine. We will leave it alone at that, shake hands, and move on to another subject. And since I'm a neutral guy, you will need not to expect me to scream and, ye and yell at a movie for its flaws. That's mostly the nostalgia critic's shtick, not mine. But even through all that, in actuality, you have your own opinion to go by. Like, say, there's a movie I like but you dislike? That's fine. We have our difference in opinion on movies. What matters is that it is your opinion, and you have every right to defend your opinion on the movie. I d just do hope that my videos are helpful to you in some form or capacity. So in conclusion, I've wanted to say once again, thank you all for your positivity to me. I hope for a bright future with you all, for you all, ladies and gents, and a long journey of me providing videos for you all. So thanks for watching this vlog video, ladies and gents. And as a heads up for any upcoming reviews, I am going to review the Captain America trilogy from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, those being the First Avenger, the Winter Soldier, and Civil War, conclude the Dark Knight trilogy with the Dark Knight Rises, and hopefully provide a review of the Jackie Chan Pierce Brosnan film, The Foreigner, in the meantime. So thanks for watching, and until then, I will see you all next time. Peace out.